So there I was. I was trying to take down the New York Stock Exchange using a polymorphic multi-headed Hydra, and I had just gotten in and I was about to take down the entire financial industry when it happened. Bam! Windows automatic update and a reboot. That was when I decided enough is enough. When you're trying to bring down trillion dollar corporations, or in some cases entire nations, you demand stability in your operating system. Linux gave me the power to do whatever I want. One minute I'm playing Super Tux Card Online with a friend in North Korea, the next minute, I'm backdooring my way into the IRS database. It's all about the four freedoms. Linux is compatible with pretty much any computer hardware. Heck, it doesn't even have to be computer hardware. There was a team of hackers in the Netherlands a few years back. They installed Linux on a Shetland pony, and later they installed Linux on a potato. A potato. It was such an amazing feat that a Norwegian hacking group later installed Linux on a saltine cracker. Open source opened my eyes. I can't believe I wasted all of those years on proprietary platforms. I have more friends now, and the women. Linux is a real chick magnet. Totally improved my love life. I view operating systems kind of like dairy products. I see Windows as skim, Mac as 2%, and Linux as whole milk. There's this misconception out there that Linux is hard to install and use. It's actually not. It's actually pretty easy. Actually, it's real easy. All you have to do, you have to go and find a distribution. Go pick one of the hundreds of Linux distributions out there and then download an ISO of that distribution. Burn it to a USB stick and then go ahead and partition your drives. Configure FSTAB. Go ahead and create a new user. Make sure you add that user to the sudoers file. Of course, that's if you're using sudo. You may prefer to use do as. And then go ahead and compile your Linux kernel. For me, for my super hacking, I prefer to use the Zen kernel. Many people prefer the real-time kernel or the Ligrix kernel. For those of you that prefer the generic kernel, that's fine too. Then you're going to need to install all of your programs. Most of them are going to be available using apt or DNF or Pac-Man, whatever native package manager for the distribution you chose. Of course, you can always install other package formats, such as snap packages, flat packs, app images, and of course, of course, always, you can build it from source using configure, make, sudo, make, install. Create a host name for your computer. Be sure to set the language and the locale. Oh, and enable your systemd startup services. That's very important. Be sure to regularly update your system. Clean out the cache and delete the old log files. I'd probably just write a script to do that. I'd probably write a bash script or maybe Python, and I'd automate that script by setting up a cron job. It's so easy, I don't understand why everyone doesn't use Linux. But I'm glad they don't, otherwise the world would be a much more dangerous place with all those super hackers. I'm Derek, and I'm a super hacker.